a peace symbol. Okay, uh, assume the position. That's a phrase. Assume the position. Just get used to that for a minute. A phrase. Assume the position is the phrase. Phrase is F R A Z. Phrase. Assume the position. It's a phrase. You're going to say, don't you mean like PH phrase? Well, that's what it is in English. But, you know, a homonym is words that sound the same but are spelled differently. What was the most famous phrase that I know? F R A Z. In Canada, we say Z instead of Z. I don't know. It depends on who we're talking to. If we're talking to Americans, we're going to say Z. In Canada, in formal occasions, we're going to say Z, which I think is British English. The most famous phrase, F R A Z, is Fraser Dougal the second. Is the owner of Dougal Media in Thunder Bay. Assume the position. You're going to go, okay, I, I give up. Okay, it told me about Fraser Dougal, the second. Fraser Dougal, the third, is the current owner of Dougal Media in Thunder Bay. Is it not true? Mm hmm. Fraser Dougal, the second, was Hector Dougal's. No, you got it wrong. You got it wrong. I don't. I can't remember. I'm all confused. I know the current owner of Dougal Media in Thunder Bay, in 2022, is Hector Fraser Dougal. He goes by Hector Dougal or Heck. Hector Fraser Dougal the second was commonly known as Fraser Dougal. On one of his vehicles, he had a, sorry, I'm being blocked from getting the word. This is electronic harassment. It's very powerful. It, can, it fucks with, it can block your mind. It's just horrible. It's like in those Men in Black movies where they have a neuralizer. They flash it in your face and it mind wipes you. Well, it's real. Electronic harassment is what I've got going on right now. So I just got to wait because electronic harassment is trying to get me to say something that I don't want to say. I'm still waiting because this is still blocking me from getting the word that I want. I might have to sit here for an hour because the people who are electronically harassing me are playing God with me. So those people can go fucking die right away. So I'm stuck in the story at almost five minutes in because I'm still being told what to say to you. A 
vanity license plate is the words. An F-R-A-Z was the vanity license plate of Fraser Dugal, who passed on a few years ago. So that is Fraser, and Fraser's father was Hector Fraser Dugal the first, who was, as far as we know, the founder of CKPR Radio. I'm not sure what the K stands for. C is Canada. I'm not sure what K is, but PR is Pioneer Radio. So early days of radio. Where are we going? Well, the phrase, starting with an F, was Fraser Dougal II. The phrase, P-H-R-A-S-E, assumed the position is what the People who are doing electronic harassment of me call me lying in bed with one hand on my bag and another hand up here covering the right hand right side of my my, my brain. You see, they're changing the words on the fly. But that's what they call assuming the position. That's when they send electronic harassment at my dick pic and right up here. And if I put my hand here, like that, because they're sending that horrible energy at me. Or, you know, covering my bag. It's the only thing I can do. When they said that energy to me. So, all of you people out there who calibrate under 540 on the scale of human consciousness need to come to a full and complete understanding of Assume the position. Why? Because you all are going to be told to assume the position. When? Electronic harassment. Electronic harassment. I can't get the words through that I want to say. I keep getting hijacked and they keep wanting to go put other words in my mouth to give to you. So anyways, sometime in the future, in some now moment, everyone who is under 540 on the scale of human consciousness is going to hear those words, assume the position, and they're going to feel horrible, horrible, horrible energy here and horrible, horrible, horrible energy down here, like that. And you're going to want to go lie down because you're going to be sleepy tired. Sleepy tired is a phrase used by the electronic torturers of me. In other words, everyone who is under 540 on the scale of human consciousness is going to be tortured the way that I am tortured right now. Everyone is going to be. Because that is the punishment, one of the punishments, for you not raising your consciousness on the scale of human consciousness 
to 540 or higher. You will be punished. And let me tell you, electronic harassment is horrible. So, that's another incentive for you to do the inner work to ditch your ego and rise in consciousness. Transcending the Levels of Consciousness by David R. Hawkins is the recommended textbook. You can find David R. Hawkins videos uh, for free on YouTube. And I do encourage you to watch them. Otherwise, you are going to hear, assume the position, you're going to hear you're sleepy tired. And when you hear you're sleepy tired, you're going to feel very tired like you need to go lie down. Does it sound like fun to be ordered around by other people? To be enslaved by other people? Does it sound like something you want to have happen to you? Because it's going to happen to you. I promise you. I promise you from my heart that you are going to experience all the shit that I have experienced. Because the people who torture me calibrate under 540 on the scale of human consciousness. And karma is karma. Wherever they are, anyone who's under 540, everyone who's under 540, is going to experience what I've been through. Because karma is karma. And karma is like accruing for every moment that you are not at 540 or higher on the scale of human consciousness. Do you want to have your head shaken? The, the torturers, remember the Exorcist movie, 1978? Linda Blair, Linda Blair was possessed by a demon and her head spun around. You can go watch that movie, The Exorcist. Well, through electronic harassment, That's when they shake my head sideways like that. That's what they want me to do. They want to rip my head right off, right off, right off my, right up. Make it spin around because they're murderous bastards. So, if you don't get your calibrated level of consciousness up, how do you calibrate it? Using muscle testing. You can find muscle testing for truth on YouTube. And uh, there's appendices in David R. Hawkins' books that tell you how to do muscle testing. And that's the calibrated. That's how you calibrate. Have I made myself clear?